first part of this video was filmed before shelter in place orders. However, the second half was filmed in a safe manner with only Kyle and his brother. So I started this project at Home Depot, and for the 4x8 sheets, they actually cut it for me on a panel saw, which is great, so we could actually fit into the car. For one of the sections, they didn't actually cut it for me, so I had to use a jigsaw to cut part of it, but it was pretty easy. Right now, we are cutting each one of the 10 legs of this ping pong table, because 10 legs gives you extra stability, and we want it to be modular and folding. And also, why not have 10 legs? The middle section of this ping pong table actually did not come from one solid piece of wood, so we had to cut up three pieces and attach them together. The edges of the pieces in the middle were actually kind of rough, so we used the oscillating tool to sand them off. Now traditional ping pong tables are blue with white lines in them, so we started by painting each one of the pieces completely blue on the top. We used some masking tape along with some primer to get the white color, and we painted the lines across like the outside and the middle one. For the legs attaching to the actual piece of plywood to make the folding legs, we had to use these hinge and block systems so they would stop at 90 degrees but fold all the way down flat.
Here we assemble each hinge and block system with a leg piece so that they can all attach to the piece of plywood. To attach one playing piece to the center piece, we put some 2x4s that stuck out from the playing piece to match into uh, corresponding sockets in the center piece.
so that's the end of this video, and it looks pretty good, and it folds up pretty nice, and comes apart fairly easily, so please like and subscribe, but only if you really want to, because I really can't control what you do.